Okay, class. So I'm going to show you the number 20. Number 20 is, if I wrote it in the correct place, we have the ones, tens, and hundreds place. So it's the two and a zero here, okay? 20. That means that our number 20 goes in the tens place. If you knew that, good job. So can you tell me how many chopsticks we have total? What do you think? All right, so we have 10, 20, and then you add seven more, right? So 20, keep it in your head, is the largest number, sorry. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. All right, so there's a total of 27 chopsticks. Why did your teacher have so many? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have practice counting. There were different directions given to you. Keep on practicing at home by tens, by twos, by threes, by fives, by ones, all the way to 300, like I tell you guys all the time. All right. So we've talked a little about uh, greater than, less than, your signs, what they look like. We've also talked about place value a little bit, showing you those chopsticks, how we should be placing them in the right uh, category of the value that it pertains to. All right. Now we have something new that we have to talk about today. And if you look over to my board, it says carrying to the tens column. Okay, so we're going to practice addition problems here. We're going to carry a number. So I'll explain what that means. Maybe you guys uh, have seen problems like this already on your own because when you practice on your own, if, you, if you're an overachiever and you always do math work on your own and try to do harder problems, you will find that um, you'll know what this means. Some of you guys may have never seen this. So that's cool, we're here to learn. So I'm excited to teach you that. Okay, so I'm going to go over on this side. This is carrying to the tens column class. What does that mean? Okay, I want your thinking cap on. All right, any time class that you are adding uh, some numbers, any time the number is larger than 10, show me 10 fingers, any time is larger than 10, something's going to happen to your answer, okay? You're not going to be able to place it in the ones place, okay? So you're going to start carrying or putting whatever the other number is, the other digit, you're gonna place it in the tens place. You will see what that means in a second, okay? All right, so let me just move this over a little bit. Hopefully this looks better. All right. All right, so thank you so much for your patience, guys. You guys are so patient, I can tell you all the time. I appreciate you working with me. Um, so I'm trying to do my best to make sure you guys do see everything I write, you understand it. Okay, so there we go. Okay, first example. We have 47 plus 25. Okay, 47 plus 25. Okay, the first thing that we still can do is make our split down the center, okay, so that we can focus on the right side, which is our one's place. Okay, what is seven minus five? All right, seven minus five? What do you think? All right, you can keep seven in your head. We're gonna have, I'm gonna put five fingers out just to keep it, uh, the larger number in my head, and we're going to add 5, right? So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and hold up. Sorry, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, so 12. Your answer is 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. Watch. Okay, watch. You're going to put your number 2 only. Write your number two, okay? Your one needs to go over here. It becomes part of this addition problem on the tens. 
So when we are carrying to the tens column, this is what it means. Anytime you have a number class that is larger than 10, larger than 10, um, you're going to carry your number to the tens place. So what is four plus one? Okay, five is correct. What is five plus two? Okay, seven is correct. Okay, your answer is 72. Okay, are you guys ready for the next problem? Okay, the next problem is 62 plus 28. All right, 62 plus 28. First thing you have to do is make your split. All right? So again, any number that is 10 or more, let's say 10 or more, that's when you have to carry your uh, number to the tens place. So eight plus two is what class? Tell me. Yes, 10 is correct. This is not what I want to see you do. Okay, so you are not going to put your 10 here and then continue working your problem. That would be wrong, okay? Don't do that, okay? Um, it will take you a little bit of practice for you to figure out how to work these problems and remember, oh no, I can't put that number there. I need to carry it over, okay? So eight plus two is 10, okay? My one. Watch, my one goes all the way in here, all right? So eight plus two is 10, carry the one. What is one plus six? Okay, one plus six is seven. What is seven plus two? Okay, the answer is nine. All right, if you got it correct, give yourself a star. Awesome job, I have a few more numbers. I'm not sure if you're able to see. We need to work those problems, so let me just see if I can move you a little bit so you can see better. Is that better? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have the problems 39 plus 23. 39 plus 23. Okay, um, go ahead and write those down. Make sure you're working along, all right? Okay, so let me go ahead and make my split. All right. Okay, so nine plus three, nine is the largest of the uh, those numbers. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in my head and just put out three fingers, okay? We're going to get better as we go along. You'll see that you will catch on and work out those problems without even taking fingers out or without using crayons or pencils or whatever it is they use right now to count. Okay, so nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? So let's go ahead and put your number two. Bring your one. Okay, carry your one. Repeat after me, carry the one. Good job. So what is one plus three? One plus three is four. Show me four fingers, okay? So keep four in your head. Uh, four plus two is? Okay, the answer is six. Okay, if you got 62, give yourself a half beat. All right, good job. We are catching on, right? These are fun. They're not bad. Okay, next problem. We have four plus six. Go ahead and make your split. Four plus six is, keep the six in your head, okay? You probably already know that without even thinking about it that hard, but four plus six is 10. Put your zero down, bring your one, carry the one. Okay, what is one plus two? Okay, three. What is three plus three? Six. Okay, give yourselves one, two stars. Good job. So thumbs up if you're understanding. Okay, I can't see you, but I know you're still giving me your thumbs up. I hope that this makes sense, guys. So this is carrying to the tens column, okay? Anytime you're adding numbers and your number equals 10 or more, you have to carry your number up to the next place, which is your tens place, okay? All right, awesome job. 
All right, so we've practiced counting. We have practiced, I've given you examples of how to carry to the tenth place. We've done a quick review of uh, greater than, less than. I have uh, two story problems that I have to go over. So make sure that you're paying attention, okay guys? All right. Let me go ahead and erase this for so that we have more room here, okay? So again, uh, let's go over a couple of story problems. All right, and then uh, we're also going to go over your math portion of your seat work packet, okay? So if you guys can get your, only the math, the classwork. If you get your classwork out, that would be great. So I'll just provide you with a few directions regarding what you need to do for your classwork. That's easy. These problems are actually there. The examples of carrying your number to the tens place. There's some examples for you to work on. Okay, so that should be awesome. That should be easy. Okay, and I do see a couple of problems here that we're going to have to go over as well. Okay, two story problems. Listening ears. Okay, there are five ladybugs and seven bumblebees, okay? There are five ladybugs and seven bumblebees on mom's flowers. How many insects were there all together? And why? So I've talked to you guys about how anytime there's a story problem class, whenever they give you a number word, a number word, you need to underline it just for yourself so that you can visually see, oh, wait a minute, or pay attention to, oh, wait, this is a number. So it has to go plugged into my story problem, okay? So let me show you of what, what that means or how I can look, okay? So usually if you guys have your story problems or even on your test, when I give you a story problem, you guys need to plug in the answers here, all right? Okay. So story problem, there are five ladybugs, okay? and seven bumblebees and seven bumblebees on mom's flowers. How many insects were there all together? So when we hear all together class, it means you're adding all of those numbers, you're combining them, okay, the total amount. So all together, you're gonna sum those up. And what is your answer? Okay, equals 12. Right. One more problem for you. Mike, all right, hold on, let me grab this little thing just so that I have an eye for the number. Okay, Mike pitched 11, 11 softballs to Rob. Rob hit six of them. How many did Rob not hit? Okay, any time that we're making a comparison of two numbers, hint, hint, that means that we're going to subtract, okay? So Mike pitched 11 softballs to Rob. Rob hit six of them, okay? So he only hit six of them, so we have to subtract by six. And our answer is 
five. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's all that we have to cover for our lesson for today, class. So um, what I want you to do now is to get your classwork ready. Okay. I'm going to go over a few things only. All right. Classwork, lesson 134. It says here, write the sums, add the ones first, then add the tens. Be sure to add the number in the carrying box. It simply means, guys, you're going to uh, carry your one on the tens side, okay? So for number one, we've gone through those examples. Now, I do see here that in number two, we need to go over this because I don't think we've gone over examples like these. So we have 76. We have 76 minus 44. Okay, so two digit subtraction. Okay, two digit subtraction. We haven't these, done these in a while actually. 76 minus 44. Okay, we are still making our split, okay? Six minus four is what? Okay, yes, two is correct. And then seven minus four is three. Okay, work your problems the same way, okay guys? Now you, uh, number three, it says you're going to count from 151 to 160. Write the odd numbers in the triangles. Write the even numbers in the circles, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to the directions. There's two directions. You're accounting from 151 to 160. Anytime it does not tell you specifically what to count by, just count by ones, okay? Unless uh, they need you to count by another number, they will specify in your directions, guys. Right, right? Because, you know, as I always say, your directions are your friends. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Okay, so number four, add the numbers across. Add the numbers cross, across, I'm sorry. Then add the numbers down. The last row down and the bottom row across have the same sum. Okay? So just make sure to, you're gonna, you're going to add the three plus two first. Okay, and then go to the next column, one plus four across. All right, and then add all of your answers, okay? That doesn't seem that hard, actually, okay? All right, guys, that concludes our math lesson for today. Make sure to watch both, both videos. I was recording earlier, and something happened, so uh, I need you to make sure you're watching both of these videos, so hopefully you caught both, that, both of them, okay? So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.